Hi, this is Wade here with IG Labs, and welcome to another episode in our podcast series. So for today's episode, I thought it would be nice if we actually got some hands-on with the NVIDIA Xavier NX board to do our own custom image classification project. Now, if you think back to when we very first kicked off this podcast series, the very first episode, we did uh, object detection using one of their pre-trained models using the Hello AI World tutorial. So for today's episode, we're still going to take and build upon that foundational knowledge using that NVIDIA Hello AI World tutorial, and I'll post the link in the description for the GitHub. So if you want to go back and look look for yourself to see what all the different cool projects within this tutorial. And another thing I'd like to mention before we kick off and get into the demonstration is that this is operating under the assumption that you've already downloaded the Jetson Inference project to your board itself, or, or you're using a Docker container. So here we are on the Hello AI World tutorial page. And as you can see, you have your image classification. The object detection is what we did to kick off our very first podcast. But for today, we're going to focus on the image classification portion of this. And so if you go down to training, we're going to be doing collecting your own data sets. And that's so that's what we're going to focus on today. So let's minimize this. And so if, if you once you have your thing set up, you have this Jetson inference folder that you have on your device. And that's kind of be kind of that's what that's what you're going to download from the GitHub and clone. And within here, you have your Jetson inference in order for, and then you go to your Python and they have plenty of different scripts in here. So pretty much all you're doing is just collecting your data and then you have they have scripts in here that you're going to be able to use. And so we're now we're in a Python directory. We're going to go to training. And then since we want to do a image classification, we're going to do a classification. And then we're also going to go into our data directory. And so here. This is this is kind of where you start and where you get that foundational knowledge at. So here you're gonna start. We're gonna right click. We need to create a new folder here, and you can name this whatever. We're gonna name this. Uh, I name this Project Fun. Project Fun. So we're gonna create that, and so <clears throat> from here we're gonna go into here, and for the image classification. You also need to create a text file and you just kind of you just name that labels txt so we're gonna right click here we're gonna open this in a terminal and just kind of do a quick little create the create a labels text file so we're gonna touch labels.txt and so now we have our labels file we won't need this anymore for right now so now you have that labels file so what we're gonna be doing is now we need to actually name for the labels file we need to actually take and label what we're going to be including in this image classification project so <clears throat> so we're gonna you're gonna need a background and so the, the purpose of having a background is if you don't have a background it's just going to kind of remember that last image as we get into the actual image classification itself so we're going to have a background and this is also needs to be in alphabetical order as well as you're doing this so we're gonna do a background for today's project. You have the background. We're gonna use our IG Labs traffic light. So we're gonna do IG Labs traffic light. And then we're also gonna do the uh, Jetson Nano board that we have here. So we're gonna save that. Okay, so we have that saved. And so if we can close out of that for now. And now we're gonna go back into this uh, classification. And this is gonna be kind of where you where you build out all of your stuff at for the most part when you're running your actual scripts and things. So I'm gonna go to classification. We're just gonna open up another terminal for that for now. So we have that. But right right here at this point, you have your you have the project fund and your labels txt file that you've created so now to actually get this up and going if you look at this window right here you're simply running a camera capture and then you have to take that and point it at your actual camera that you're using to capture things so that's my dev slash video zero so i'm going to hit enter right there it's going to run through and so the cool thing about this is that you have your own like little project 
you have your own little tool within here, which makes it fairly easy to do. So this is your window pointing up. So if you, I put my hand here, you see my hand, we'll slide this in. That's the board right there. As you can see, I have, this is our IG Lab traffic light board here, right here. So the only thing you really have to do here is uh so you have so you can if you were doing your own image detection you would you could change the detection but since we're doing classification we leave it on classification and your date your data set path is going to be that that project fund that i created so we're just going to go back in and find that so it was in our let's see um jetson inference we're gonna go to python training classification data project fund and that's where we, that's where you're going to point your that's going to be your path while this data is going to go and then for your class labels is that labels txt file that we actually created within the project fund so we're going to go here and we got that as well so you have three different modes here you have your train mode your validation and then your test and you're going to take images for each one of those and it's recommended that you take around 100 images for your train and then of that you do 10 to 20 percent of that of that overall images for that class for your validation and your test data so right here all right so we're on our current class background so we're just going to start filming and this is going to be the background so we're just going to start uh hitting our space bar and it actually tells you how many images you have going as as it's running. <clears throat> and at this point, you can feel free to get you a, a, a refreshing beverage or anything because we're at 13. We have to get this up to 100. And and once as we as we get up to 100, then then we'll move on to the validation and what and it says t so 10 to 20 percent of 100. I'll, I'll tend to do 20 images on the higher side. So it's actually really quite simple and easy. Like if you were to go in hands-on with this and actually get into your creating your own your own image classification project you'd probably be surprised at how easy it actually is to do so <clears throat> i was actually i know i for, for myself i was actually blown away at how easy and how quick this was so we're up to 50 now we're still going at this point you could also have like some jeopardy music playing or something <laughs> So now we have our 100 train in front of background. We're going to go to validation next. And then you just hit that space bar again. This will go a little quicker because, again, it's only we're only going to do 20. So we're going through here, getting it done. Make sure 17, 18, 19, 20. And it's just kind of as you're watching, I mean, you can think of the things like, that you will, you could play around with this and just get it to kind of recognize yourself. I've, I've played with this to the extent of uh, actually recognizing my, trying to recognize myself as well. And I've been able to do that as well. But <clears throat> I would want to throw more images at it because, again, like I only threw 100 at it. But I would like to see what would happen if you, for example, throw 500 images at it or something like that. And right, so we have our background done and something cool that I could show you all as we're going through that. So within that project fund, it builds out the these test train and validation folders for you on its own. So that's something that's kind of cool. And then if and if you were to go in there, you'd see that we just did background, you'd see the images that we just took for the background. So all right, we're gonna go back out for now. All right, so we did the background, we're gonna go our IG Labs traffic light next. And a thing to do, like sometimes when I'm going through and doing this, I forget to change the current set back to train. And so next thing you know, I, I'm up to like 100 in the test value. So we're going to go back to train. And let me move this out of your way so you can actually see. All right. And so we're going to start just capturing, the, capturing our traffic light. And so, and for these, it's okay to have your, if you take and actually have your hand in the picture because you're more nine times out of 10, as you're moving this, your hand's gonna be in the way as you're moving these objects. And since it's object detection, you just wanna kinda try to get like angles, different angles. I'll let it sit there for a bit. And you just wanna, again, we're back up to trying to get a hundred, so. All right, now to the validation part, the easy part. 
just 20. That's all you need. And this is the, the easy part. And in the interest of time, we're only, like I said, we're only doing the traffic light and we're gonna do the, the nano board as well. All right, so validation is done. We're gonna move on to test. And we'll have one more, th one more thing to train. I'm gonna be fairly quick after that. So now we have that done. And just to see that those actually went somewhere, you can go back into your project fun, train, IG lab traffic light, and you see all the images there. All right, so next up we have, we're gonna do the, the Nano, the Jetson Nano, which we have in this little IG Labs 3D printed case that we did here in the lab, so. And again, make sure you change it, Jetson Nano. And you wanna get back up to your train. <clears throat> and again, here you go, I'm just gonna start. All right, so at this point, Got all the images that you want to collect for the project right here. So now you can simply just close out of this tool right here. And you you remember earlier when I said we had the uh, you could um, you had all these already these these scripts in here. So we're going to be using this train.py script, but we're, first we're going to go and let's cd into that to this area where we are now. So we're gonna go cd. Oh, excuse me. Jetson. Imprint. Python. Training. Classification. So now that we're here, we're where that train.py script is that we want. And so at this point, I'm just going to go back to my reset commands because it's a sim simpler thing to do. All right, so here is that here, here is the first thing that we're gonna run. It's a train and we're gonna run Python to run that this train.py script that comes with it again. Like like I said in the beginning, as long as you have, you've downloaded the Jetson inference project, you will have this script in there. And the only thing I wanna make sure is that uh, my project name is correct. So I actually need to go and change that. This is another project, project that I did. So this is project Wade, so. This is project fun. And then we're gonna go back here. And go project fun again. All right, so we have we have this here. Epics, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see how long it takes to go 10. 10 typically might take a while, but we're gonna just let it go and see how it turns out. So let's go hit the enter and just watch it work and do its magic. Has our three classes in there using the pre-trained ResNet model. So it's gonna take a little while and this might, may take a little while to actually take and run through. So again, while this is running, we can kind of just actually take in, go back and let's, let's venture back at this, uh, Took a little while to unfreeze there, but as you're in this Hello Air World tutorial, you it literally walks you through. So like if I was to go on back to collecting your own data sets, click on this. It literally walks you through step by step at how you would do what I what I just did. And like for his project, he had like dinosaurs and all kinds of things. Again, it uh literally gives you all the commands that you need. So it's fairly simple. If you forget something from this video, you go back to the video or even quicker, you can just go straight to this GitHub page and it'll help you help you out a lot. And it's a really simple project. And while this is running, let's see what, what Epic it's on. So we're on Epic 2. So by the time it gets, it gets up to where we want it, we should be good to go. And while that's running in the background, we can just take in, just scroll through the Jetson community the developer page and see what all is on here. There's actually a lot of different projects on here. In previous podcasts, I've showcased them before, like the AI for healthcare, but 
I like to just go and see as they put like new and different things on there. They have the baby watcher, so watches your baby. That's that's pretty cool. That'd be something that I would do personally whenever the day that I have kids. And let's see what epic we're on. So we're on epic five actually. So it's actually going at a at a pretty pretty good rate right now. So so now we're gonna use this onx export script. So again, I already have it in here. We're gonna go. So it's Python three onx ex export. And again, we just got to change it back to was a prog fun fun here. Hit enter. Let it work. And it's going to go through, take a little while. And there is, there'll be the next command that we run. It'll be getting ready to actually display it so you can actually see the hard work that you've done today in live action. All right, so the model's been exported. So now we're going to run ImageNet. So this is what we're going to do. ImageNet, and again, we got to go and change Project Way to Project Fun. There we go. Project way to project fun. And then get to go. And as long as we did what we were supposed to do, should right here, you should should pop up. And we should have ourselves a background. All right, so here's the background that we did. Let's see if let's see if we were successful in it. So that's the background. Let's see if we oh would you look at that? Look at what you have there. You have an IG Labs traffic light at hundred percent confidence. So you take it out, you have your Jetson Nano at 74%. What happens if I set it still? The percentage goes up, so 86% for the Jetson Nano. So again, I just wanted to show you all this project because I, I mean, I think it's really cool that something so quick like that, like that, and you could pretty much have your own image classification model, model your custom one at that. So thank you all for hanging out with me today and I, I really encourage you all to just dive into the Hello AI world and just see what you can come up with yourself. And again, <clears throat> my name is Wade here with IG Labs, and thank you for tuning in to today's episode.